Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're continuing a series today that is on keyboard shortcuts. So we're gonna come to Edit, Edit Keyboard Shortcuts, and today we're talking about the Speed Edit Keys. The idea here is to have a single key that you press and hold so that you can quickly access a particular editing tool that you use frequently. Let's see how these work. Some of these you'll see are the same as yours and some I have adjusted. I have exposure set as E, contrast is equals, B for brightness, R for saturation and we can see several of these coming down. If you wanted to change one, I could come over, I could highlight, and I could just type whatever letter I want it to be. But notice something. If I was to press a key for something that already exists, for instance, I've pressed S, it gives me a warning down here that if I wanted to do this, I could reassign highlights as S, but it would take away the keyboard shortcuts from shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and correct that back to the way that it was. Once you have some keyboard shortcuts that are working uh, for you with speed edit keys, and these are all the things you have accessible, very, very common editing tools, I'm now gonna come to an image that I would like to edit. We're gonna reset this, and I'm going to only use my keyboard editing shortcuts. So I'm gonna hide my tools so that you can't, so I'm not using those at all. If I want to adjust exposure, I'm just gonna hold E. And now what I'm gonna be able to do is brighten and darken just by scrolling on the mouse. You'll notice down here, exposure has been brought up as a slider. Now what if I wanted to do this with brightness because brightness wouldn't affect the sky? I've got B set for brightness. I can click and hold and now brightness is a, is a slider up there. I've got H for highlights that I can bring down, so forth and so on. It just brings up that tool right there at the bottom that you're able to utilize. And in this way, you can access your fastest, most commonly edited tools in order to be able to operate without even having a tool or tool uh, tab next to you. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.